what's up guys and welcome back to another video today's video we're focusing on the dilemma of peter steph de toy the man who is extremely very much wanted by france montpellier have offered millions of rands in order to acquire the services of peter steph de toy now the question is will he stay or will he go yesterday so or on thursday south africa had the opportunity until midnight of the night in order to decide whether to tear up their provincial contracts and go overseas or to stick with their province in this case the stormers and stick around and accept the salary pay cuts in order to try and revive and save the sa rugby because obviously we're cutting things down in order to keep the business alive no rugby no pay no money coming in no sponsors no crowds nothing so these guys were all given the SA rugby 21 day clause and um, it was up to them. Either they tear up their contract and head abroad or they stick with the Stormers or their respective province. Now the talk is that although Peter Steph de Toy is verbally committed to the Stormers, there's actually been no comment or contract about, out yet in order to confirm such is happening. Now, for me personally, the respect I have for Peter Steph de Toy has grown immensely for the fact that he's willing to commit to the Stormers and to his country and to um, really help grow and develop rugby within South Africa. Because a lot of these guys quickly see that opportunity and head abroad. Rightly so. What would you do in a position? And I ask myself this question. If I'm getting a promotion tomorrow to earn more money, you're going to take that promotion and go over. But Peter Steph de Toy says he really wants to obviously commit to the Stormers. But exactly what this paperwork is remains unclear, as de Toy should have a valid contract in place. There is talk of not really much happening. It actually says, unless, of course, he did, in fact, tear up his current contract before Thursday's midnight de deadline as prescribed in SA Rugby's survival plan, and now is in negotiation for a new contract. It either could be worth Western Province and SA Rugby in order to keep him there. So there's no actual confirmation that he's actually fully on committed or he could actually go overseas. What I think could happen, because I know Japan and France both want him badly, is that for me, and I said this in the stream with Skinny Brew, if you haven't seen that, click on the icon above. I said, I feel if he doesn't, he's going to commit another year to South African rugby. We've got to write this year off because we're pretty much not back. But even if we come back and we have a small tournament like what Australia and New Zealand are currently doing, he's then going to play for the Stormers and Western Province, etc. going forward. Then to me, next year, oh, well, bring me a contract, sign it, and I'm off. He's got no official contract of him forcing to stay here for a certain amount of time. And when his agent was contacted, they were asked, what's happening? And he said, no comment, which pretty much proves that he hasn't officially signed any commitment to either team. Social media was awash with reports, though, that the toy is in fact heading abroad either to France or Japan. But again, no confirmation has been yet said a source close to him says he wants to he doesn't want to leave he wants to stick to the stormers and rightly so but in order to get a full-on career and a salary he's gonna want to really stick around and um, the thing with south africa now they're hot at the moment because they've won the world cup so people want them look on your arm is in hot pursuit or in japan etc etc all these guys and Stormers have already lost Dylan Lates and Volko Lowe to England and to France. There's talk of Corbus Vista and fly off Jean Luc and Dupree also going. Duplessis, sorry. It's all uncertainty. So there's no official confirmation. I think what Peter Steph is going to do, he's going to stick around for another year. And then in 2021, after the Lions tour, let's say 2022. He's going to commit to the country, he's going to commit and then go overseas. I'm not saying he's going to scrap South Africa, no ways. 
But I think after Lions, he's going to go overseas and play his rugby and then probably come back in time for the next World Cup. I would probably do the same thing if I could have the opportunity to earn. But commit to Rusty, commit to the province and the country, and after Lions, head over. That's just my thoughts. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. It's a very interesting story and debate that people are having about this man because he's so wanted. Let me know your thoughts. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you real soon for another one. Stay safe and never give up. Cheers.